Two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today I rise in support of the conference report to accompany the William M. Mack Thornberry National Defense Authorization Act. For the past 59 years, Congress has passed the NDAA on a bipartisan basis for one simple reason, that politics must never, ever stand between the American people and the security of our country. <clears throat> this record of bipartisanship unity is unrivaled in our history and a testament to what we can do when we come together to ensure that the needs of our nation are met. As a conferee, I could probably say that this bill wisely balances the differences between each chamber that puts America's security first. Let me say at the outset that I'm in agreement with the President's concerns about Section 230 and the need to deny broad immunity to tech companies that abuse legal protections to censor voices that do not share their particular political viewpoints. However, as important as this issue is, it falls outside the jurisdiction of this bill and deserves its own debate and a separate vote so that every member of Congress is on record where they stand. For members considering to vote no because of this issue, ask yourself, do you think you'll get a better bill in two months? The answer is no. I wish to commend the outstanding leadership of Chairman Smith and my friend Mac Thornberry for na navigating this bill through conference. Under their leadership, this legislation will continue the readiness recovery we began four years ago. It will fully fund modernization of our strategic nuclear deterrence. It ensures America's military advantage well into the future with ne necessary investments in air, land, sea, space, and cyberspace. It directs the Secretary of Defense to establish emergency medical surge partnerships with federal, state, local universities and private health care providers to prepare for future pandemics. And it keeps the faith of their service members and military families. This bill also provides long overdue support and relief to veterans suffering from toxic exposure. As an airman who deployed four times, I served with many who were exposed to burn pits and now suffer from tumors in their lungs. This bill grants presumptive benefits for veterans suffering from these illnesses and requires the VA to fast track disability statuses. So this conference report provides our service members the tools they need to defend America. On the 60th consecutive NDAA, I'm proud to have helped craft this bill, and I thank the statesmanship of Mac Thornberry, whose name it bears. I urge my colleagues to vote yes, and I yield back.